Hey everybody, what's going on? Terry Schilling here with my good buddy Dan Marzullo and we are back with another video to share you some valuable copywriting tips. And today, I have to admit, it's one of our like top secrets. You guys are gonna wanna save this video. We're dropping some real value bombs today. We're gonna talk about how to write, you know, it could be email subject lines, could be articles for blog posts, landing pages, how to write a high converting, have to click, drop everything, click right now, headline for your next article or sales page. And uh, I'll let Dan talk just a little bit. I know I'm blabbering, but Dan, share your most valuable tip or some processes that you have to do this. Yeah, sure, Terry. And I think, like you said, killer headlines are important, whether it's an email subject line, a blog post, whatever it is, it has yeah. to be eye catching. Um, and I think, you know, sometimes it's pretty easy just off the top of your head to come up with something creative depending on what it is you're talking about the subject or the client or whatever um, but sometimes it's not always that way maybe it's something more dry that you really have to put in some extra effort to spice up so for me to spark those ideas when it's just not coming naturally um, I, I really am a big fan of the different headline formulas and so, you know, Neil Patel talks about this a lot. There's a ton of different ones to kind of spark creativity. Uh, but my favorite one, I wrote it down here to share it with you guys. It's called the For You Formula uh, by Melanie Duncan, and she's a business coach. Um, and so she says every headline should be useful, urgent, unique, and ultra specific. So that's the four U's. So, you know, that's something that I kind of like to review as I'm kind of brainstorming and it'll help pop up some new ideas sometimes. Um, and yeah. you can Google, there's a ton of different formulas that other copywriters or, you know, content strategists have come up with that are pretty awesome that can help you get to where you want to be with that headline. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. It's just like you write your headline or you come up with a few options and then you go through those four U's and make sure that it's touching on uh, all of them. I've not heard that before, Dan. You're even sharing something new with me. I love it. This is great. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's my tip for you, Terry. What do you got today? What's All right, your best? I have something to really take advantage of, you know, trending topics, okay? And we're really gonna play the imitation game here. You know, imitation is flattering. Don't copy things word for word, obviously. But one uh, tip that helps me write headlines, especially when I'm writing blog articles, is to go to sites like BuzzFeed or Medium and go and look at what's trending on there. And you can get ideas of how they're writing their headlines because they're specific people. They hire people to write these, just the headlines to get people to click. But if you go to BuzzFeed, like I'm there right now and one of the first things I see is 32 things that must have been designed by geniuses. So right there, think about what your topic is, what you want your reader to know after reading your article or even your sales page and then think you could write 10 email subject lines that you absolutely have to click that must have been written by geniuses. You can flip it around and tailor it to what you're talking about, but highly recommend checking that out. Like I said, Medium, BuzzFeed is great. I mean, as much as we may not dislike or dislike reading BuzzFeed, I guarantee sometimes you see something on Twitter or Facebook and then you click on it because the headline gotcha. And so that's just my, that's my tip. Pretty simple there, Dan, but I think it's really helpful if you are feeling stuck to get some creative ideas there. Love it, yeah. Great advice, Terry. That's awesome. Yeah. So guys, those are our two valuable tips to help you write killer headlines that again, everybody's gonna drop everything, drop their chores, click that, read that for the five, 10 minutes, whatever you got going on. Hopefully it's not that long, but uh, yeah, that's our tips. And uh, Dan, any last words before we let people go? Yeah, I'd love to hear what are some of the most powerful headlines you guys have seen or written that have been effective? Yeah, share it with us guys, leave them in the comments and we'll see you all guys later.